we started looking at it uh, at houses in Florida like a month ago, a month and a half ago. We knew what we were looking for, something with like high ceilings, connected kitchen, living room, skylight if possible, and then open backyard. I think some of the first questions I asked was like, will you be viewing the property in person or not? And once I you know, discovered that you were not, it kind of worked out because like I work with a lot of military, so it's very you know, common for those people to buy a property sight unseen, which is how you purchase the home. You never set eyes on it physically, so we did everything virtually. We showed you the property through the FaceTime. In the video, we were very picky, right? So we were asking, can you go here? Can you go there? We were really spent quite a bit of time, right? Running through everything to make sure that everything, we were comfortable with everything. Right. I wanted to buy it for renting it out. So then when we started the first discussion and you and I, I saw that you were on the same page, that you're actually doing the same thing, and then you also have some rentals, then it was so easy for me because you already have my mindset. So it was very easy. You already have the answers before I even asked the question. So that was, that was actually very reassuring for me. I think the most remarkable thing about the way that you do this is that you're so hands-on and super resourceful. Like the first thing that I noticed in the photos was the, the mirrors and the lights. I think it's about reusing whatever it's already in place and trying to maximize the use of, of whatever is there. But you were able to repurpose this mirror, pull it an inch and a half or so off of the drywall and then add these lights behind it and make it really kind of like make the bathroom pop. I mean, the color is also optional, right? You can change it and you can even turn it off, but most people like it, so they don't turn it off. And similar, the use of the extra laminates. So there were six laminates that were left over and we couldn't really return them or anything. Yeah. So it was just, let's create a column here that gives some style to the house and put some LED lights in the back. It's cool, it just breaks up the space. It's different, again, resourceful, because otherwise, what are you gonna do with that? Most people would have this in a box and then it'd be in the garage and then people would be like, well, if I ever need to replace a piece, I have it. And then they never do, then they throw it away in five years. And then when you paint it, so you've had the interior painted, right? Yes. Uh, so this is bunny gray, because we knew that one works well. We've done it before in other places and we look, we like the final look. It looks kind of modern, but it's not too intense either. Yeah. And it's not too light, because if it's too light, then there is no contrast with the white. I mean, looks great. I think the contrast between the floors that were existing here, I think the, the balance is perfect. And then that thing, we sprayed it black because that the, it was wooden, ah. and then it, it no longer went with the, with the house after, oh. after changing the look of the walls. So then we sprayed this into a metallic, uh, metallic black. Yeah, so it has like a little bit of a texture to it. It looks, like, it looks great, man, it flows well. And then from the inside, we didn't do that much. We just transformed easily things, like just making things neat and clean and that's it, but no big changes. We also changed the vanity in the small bathroom. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to add some LED lights there as well, but the timing was limited. So I know I'm here for three weeks only, and we wanted to co complete and list and rent before I leave. The timing was super limited, and then some of the things we had to remove. Yeah. And some of the things we had to redefine. This one was going to be LED lights as well, Okay. but we didn't have enough. No. Time. But it's okay. I mean, you don't want to overdo it either. Yeah. And then yeah. you, paint, you did paint the ceilings or? Yes, yes, yes. They, they were not in good shape. We also replaced all the handles, all the sockets. You went dark just to kind of match everything. And they even sprayed all of this. So oh, they, no? So they look, they were in pretty bad shape and they look almost new. So yeah. to, to paint this, like this is a dilemma that I've gone through. Do you paint these or do you replace them? So you were able to paint them and make them look new. And outside so many things. Let's go yeah, outside. Yeah, let's do outside. outside. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I mean, not much to do here in the post, right? It was just like painting, cleaning. So this thing, you remember, it was quite, it was old style was thing. A, yeah. And we were thinking of actually removing it. Initially, we were going to keep it and just paint it. And then we started painting, I didn't like it. And then my wife said, let's just remove the fence for now and then think about it. So okay. we removed the fence and then we were thinking what to do with it. And then we said, let's try to, to build a bar there. So a couple of things I noticed when you sent me your video on the house, something I definitely want to ask you in the tree, you did a, a water tree. So when I saw the video, I thought it was like you were collecting rainwater and then oh, it was a way to like dump it. So you got a shower head up there. Here's the valve to pull yeah. it. And then, and then it's just a water line in. Which goes all the way there, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just pull, yeah. It's, it. <laughs> it's just a shower. Yeah. But it's a, it's, it's a water tree, right? <laughs> it's so cool. No, like, like for, it's so funny. So why do you, I've never seen it, never heard of it. Yeah, me neither. Okay. I just uh, came I up with the idea. I thought you were like, oh, of course, you don't know a water tree, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can always put a shower and that's okay. Yeah. But these are a bit more like different, especially for kids, like family with kids, they will definitely like that. I think that. that's so cool. Cause I can even imagine someone like hanging a hammock from here maybe and then like they get a little hot. It's, yeah. And it's shaded. And it's, and it's uh, kids proof. So if they pull too much, then the Velcro will open. So the, the branch will not be hurt. Yeah. And, then, uh, and then the fence, like we really like the, the corner and the openness. 
So we didn't want to cover it, but we don't like the fence. So what we did, we just installed some wood to cover the main part, and then it already looks like a different fence. This is the same wood you use behind the mirrors, right? Yes, yeah. Uh, and you, that's new, you put the triple Christmas in, or yes, the palm? Yes, yeah. this was my first time planting a, a palm tree. Um. Lola was helping me to dig the hole. Okay. I was digging the hole Although, and she yeah. was more excited than me digging yes. the hole that she was making. <laughs> and then exterior painted. Did you have to replace any of the um, the wood? Yes. Okay. All of this, it was totally rotten here. Uh -huh. So I treated the area and I replaced some of the wood. And here in the outside, front, we just painted. I really like the contrast between the... So the, the white around the windows make them so much bigger. Yeah. And it also contrasts well with the with the brown, and the the number is new too. Yeah. We knew we wanted to put something there. Didn't know what. Eventually, we said let's just put the number. Here, we just wanted to protect a little bit more, or not ho probably hide rather than protect. Yeah, doing some irrigation stuff. Yeah, because some of the areas which are dead is just because the the irrigation systems are not. Some of them are not working. Yeah. So I'm replacing some of them. I, I, and I hope you know I appreciate you. Oh, yeah, appreciate yeah. the transaction, appreciate you trusting us, like all the shit that I've, even though the camera's on, we're recording, like it's I truly said, genuine. I, I hope you know that. I know and I feel the same way. And that's why I, I'm, I'm really, really happy about how all of this has gone and, and, and how smoothly everything has been. And, and definitely your help, especially like being uh, remote. If I was here, it would be a different story, but being remote, it was so important to really have someone that you can trust. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now we got some champagne in the pot. Let's go. Let's do that. <laughs> That's the best part. The water tree is here, guys. Oh, yeah. This is the water tree. <laughs> <laughs>